Because there is so much focus on Justin Fields' ability to run the ball, we're just going to take a look at his passing game statistics from the entire season. And he was hurt one game, and we did have a bye week, so in total, Fields has played 14 games. We're going to take a look at the first seven and then the last seven, just to determine if statistically on paper there is any kind of improvement in the passing game. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you doing so. Now, if you watch the game, you'll see Fields hitting receivers in the hands and them dropping it. However, in this video, we're only going to focus on the numbers. So in the first seven games, Fields only had one game with multiple passing touchdowns. In the first couple weeks, the Bears were playing in some terrible weather conditions, which affected the passing yardage. But still, there was a three-game stretch with zero passing touchdowns, as well as having a game where he threw for zero touchdowns and two interceptions. Um, which we won, by the way. But once games were played in better conditions, Fields was able to string together a couple games with 175-plus passing yards, and he started to at least throw for one touchdown a game. But overall, the numbers are pretty typical for a second-year quarterback, 1,000 yards, five touchdowns, six interceptions in seven games, and a completion percentage of about 56%. Regardless of what Fields is doing with his legs, if he's going to be advertised as a passing quarterback, then Bears fans deserve to see improvement as time goes on in the passing game. It does not need to be very drastic, but it does need to be somewhat consistent. Everyone has a bad game, but more often than not, we cannot have games with no touchdowns and multiple interceptions from our quarterback. So here it is, multiple games with two touchdowns or more, less interceptions than the first seven games, and in general, they started attempting more passes. Even though there wasn't a big spike in yardage, uh, Fields has more than doubled his passing touchdowns and lowered his interceptions and increased his completion percentage by about 10%, even though he's got nobody to throw to. So now is the time that it's worth mentioning. He's also set quarterback rushing records with his legs. Guys, this is why the future is so very, very bright for the Chicago Bears. This kid is special. And um, we just need to see this consistent improvement in his passing game. And if we do, he is he's the next best thing. I know it's so hard to believe because he's wearing a Bears uniform. And as Bears fan, we've been jaded over and over and over by bad quarterbacks. But we really might have the next best dual threat quarterback that the NFL has ever seen. It's hard to believe, but it's right in front of us. Enjoy it.